I began my career with research on a disease that already was becoming the number one killer, heart attacks. When I became president of the American Heart Association, there was a period of understanding that something had to be done. There was a transition from a researcher to working socially. This changed my life. I'll be 50 years old. I don't have diabetes. I don't have high blood no, pressure. I don't it. have any of those issues. But we can have disease at age 70, and we might have prevented by taking care at age 50. Over 80% of cardiovascular deaths occur in low- and middle-income countries. We put a group together to go into developing countries and test whether or not we could make a difference. One of the critical issues is the discrepancies that you see in the world we live. There's two patients per bed. There are barriers everywhere you go. Growing up a poor person, you see what it is like to live in that situation. They do not have angioplasty, no forms of cardiac surgery. When I became aware of the project, my eyes lit up because I realized this is what needs to be done. When we talk about global health, it's very important to start in childhood. And I'm absolutely obsessed about it. These guys have to be followed for 15 years. Very difficult project. We cannot give up. You always have to start very humble. Very small. If it works, you go higher. If it works, you go higher. We're really looking at sick populations and not just sick people. And one of the things you learn very quickly is that we are all the same. We can dress differently. But at the moment that the disease affects you, there's no difference. We have an incredible potential to change society. We are transforming the way of research by motivating young people to move from disease to health. You just have to turn their brains on. It's so simple.